What's up guys? Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and today's test drive is this 1973 Plymouth Duster 360 under the hood. No power steering or power brakes. Aluminum radiator. Looking around, it's a hot little motor. Manual valve body car. I do believe disc brakes. Check on the rear here. Drum in the rear. But of course I'll be taking it down the road dual exhaust and pointing out anything that I see this is the first time I've driven this car personally you know we get a lot of cars in here about 60 a month and I do all the reviews I do this so you know what you're getting before you get here there's a hundred detailed pictures at maplemotors.com we have financing we have shipping and if you don't mind hit subscribe this is what I do up here and it helps me out quite a bit for now it's about that time let's go for a ride Let's check everything out before we take off here. Place your bats, do you think the horn works? The dash here has got some issues. You can see it's all cracked, a little warped. Needs to be replaced. Missing a radio and stuff. Uh, you got some switches down here for fuel and accessory aftermarket gauges. You got your volts, water, and oil pressure. Tack, b &M shifter. Tons of receipts for this one. That's a thick book. That's great to have. Um, interior is not bad. Looks pretty good. Package tray is all right. A little faded. Headliner. A couple little wrinkles here. Missing the light cover. A little scratch. Of course, we'll be going over all this towards the end of the video at the picking out the flaw segment. Let's go ahead and start her up. Fuel, accessory, key. We're cold right now. Still waiting on that engine temperature to come up. Bolts not hooked up. Looks like they didn't hook up the gauge. Full pressure. Come on. There we go. See it. Tack is working. These are cutouts here. Electric cutouts. Run it through the muffler. Take it back off. <clears throat> Makes it loud. Showing 45,000 miles on the dash. Hard to stand behind that. We may need to stop and get a little fuel. The original temperature gauge, I don't know if it works yet. We'll be checking. Alternator. Where is our wipers? There's none on there. Let's see if the little nubs turn. So they're turning, so you should initially put wipers on it. Both of them are turning, and they work. Turn signals. Sun is bright. Turn signals are blinking on the dash. The right side is not. So the bulb could be out, but you can hear it clicking. Blower motor, it's cutting on and working. So as long as we got a hose running to the heater core, it should be heat. Horn, did you place your bets? Let's try it out. Hey, horn works. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, got our seat belt on here. Y'all look pretty good. We're gonna be heading down the road. Of course, anything I see, you will know about it. That's why I do these videos. Waiting on the shipper guy to get out of the way here. He's loading up an old Impala we just sold. This is a manual bow body car, which means you start down in one, and you head on up from there. Let's see, Let's roll out of here. I'd say around 
about 35 to 4. You can hear it kind of, we'll give it a little bit of time to heat up some more, make sure it's all cleared out. It could be some ethanol backed up, but it feels pretty healthy so far. We're going to pull in here and get some fuel, and we'll check this gauge. Right now, the gauge is dead on E, so it's showing we're about to run out. Let's see what we got going on. They have to go a different route today, too. Looks like they're pouring concrete over there. I don't want to get near that. All right, I'll be back. So we have got $20 worth of premium fuel in this rod now. You put it in the side here, and the key actually fits it. That's pretty cool. It's not after market key there. Let's see what we got. Almost five and a half gallons. Got a course. We'll check the gauge. Let's see if it works. I kind of feel like it does. The reason is because now it's lower. I'm going to turn the ignition on here. Look at it. I guess we were just low on fuel. Look, hold on, accessory. Turn it up. I don't know. It's up just a hair more than it was. Not exactly where I would want it to be. I would think it'd be closer to half a tank. Give it a little gas. Okay. Now I gotta figure out a way around all these guys. I think I can cut through the parking lot there and make things happen. Let's take off. Got y'all up on the head cam. Let's roll out of here. Of course, I noticed a little bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust on this one. I'll be showing that all through the video. Uh, and then towards the end, we're going to be picking out the flaws. in the exhaust when you get down in the throttle too.
kind of sitting in the parking lot and I'm kind of wondering if the plugs got a little loaded up. Looked like it was getting a lot of gas. I'm going to drive it a little bit and see if we can uh, work some of that out. Of course, this car is set up more like a hot rod, so that's why I'm two footing it. That's when I drive with two feet. Engine temperature's at 180, a little below it. Oil pressure's at 30. getting these plugs cleared out just kind of running running it up a little bit We're gonna pull in here and let these guys get on ahead. It's not that we've been going very fast. Everybody's just going really slow for some reason right now. <laughs> they do that a lot here lately. I figured if I get a little turn around in the parking lot, maybe I can give them a head start. But it almost worked out. <laughs> pop coming from that carburetor uh, the brakes feel great the front end still pulling to the right seems to be clearing out pretty good I think just sitting around in the parking lot because I was it was taking me twice the amount of time to get the past video because everywhere I was going was messed up. Something was going on. People were everywhere. It was kind of loading it up. There's a bump about halfway down the road. This has got good suspension on it, by the way.
bumps right here pretty smooth not bad and right now I'm right around the corner from the car lot guys if you are new to the channel hit subscribe we're gonna be picking out the flows at the end going over the rest of the details on this ride so stick around that's coming up next pretty good there still a little bit of popping okay we're coming through Brian's Motorsports now check it out brianesmotorsports.com he customizes cars every single day that's what he does for a living it's worth checking out he's got everything from old school to new school lifted trucks to cutlasses to impalas you name it but he is worth checking out. He's got videos on YouTube. He's got Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys. Getting ready to walk around this ride. Anything else I find, you'll know about it. That's why I do these videos. Detailed pictures are at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Quite windy out here. Hopefully it's not messing up the video too much. Coming around the front end, the front bumper on this one's a little age on it, a little bit of pitting. It's not terrible, but it does have some imperfections. chip here on the front little scuffs up here tires in the front are in good shape up and over that fender paint runs there I wiped the bottom of this off before we test drove too <laughs> picked it up during the test drive took me a second to find all the spots because very busy out here today. All my normal spots are full of people and I don't really do these videos too much with a big crowd. There's a crack right there. Oh, the construction worker guys that were over there, they were, hey, hey, do a burnout. I was like, no, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> you can see where this has been sanded in the back and re redone. Probably got some Bondo back here. Little chip there, a little bit of overspray up top, back to midsection. Door handle on this one's got some pitting on it. Over this top portion spot there front windshield's got a crack and a scratch scratch comes up around crack right there in the middle trim around it looks all right it's not too bad pillar little crack there little chip here back window there chrome looks good seals not bad back one is good coming back down rear portion here there must be some storms coming it's very windy today all right my shadow is going to get all up in our face here so maybe i dug down you see some pitting on the back of this one this was a lot worse than the front bumper with all the hazy whoa that scared me i didn't even make it to the trunk yet it's not allowed to shut a little bit of pitting back here. Spot in the 
corner there. Chip there. Well, let me grab the keys back out of the ignition here. Looking down in your trunk. Got a mat in here. It's like a spare pieces to change it out. Fairly solid. There's your jack. Been uh, fixed over here. Package tray. That looks good. Not bad at all. Your jams got some chips in them. All right, keys in the trunk there. Let's take it out. Shut her down. The wind helped me shut that a little bit harder than I meant to. <laughs> a little bit of overspray on the trunk. You can hear it. This car needs a good buff play bar. All that stuff will come off. The paint's actually in fair shape. Start the front. Get away from my shadow. Coming down this lower portion here. Little runs right here around the edge of that fender where they put the paint on thick. You see some wax left over, it's kind of dried up on the paint. Little bubbles there. Bubbles in the back, some rust trying to come through. A little wax left over in the middle. Chips around your gas cap. Scratch right there. Oh, here comes a train. You got some pitting on your door handle there. Old train's rolling through right here beside us. It's actually fairly quiet. I thought it was going to be a lot louder. Got a scratch here, chip up here in the front. This side's not too bad, but it's got a few little chips. Mirror on this one's a little hazy. Door handle, a little hazy too, not bad. Back window looks all right. You can see the spray lines on the roof. blips in the paint. I think a lot of that will come out. Down your pillar there. Not too bad. Let's jump on the interior. Check it out a little bit. Hopefully the train will pass by the time we start it up. And we'll listen to the motor. It has been smoking throughout the whole video. But I put it in the video for you to know about. So. 
little wrinkles at the bottom of the door panel a little wear there where the handle goes on your armrest there you got a crack the rest of the door panel is not bad jams little chips there carpet's missing on the back side you can actually see the floor so so that's good the front you got a mat in it a seat here a little war on the edges back seat package tray's a bit faded Come on, light. Headliner. It's got some spots and stuff in it. dash is a little messed up there in it passenger seat not bad same thing on the passenger door down at the bottom a few wrinkles let's start this one back up I want to hear what that is try to figure out what the accessories actually hooked up to but I thought maybe electric fan, but give her a little gas. Is she a little smoky? Not bad. You let it sit for a little bit, it'll start to get a lot of fuel. Start dumping a lot more. But yeah, this one doesn't have the electric fan on it. So I'm still not sure what the accessory is even for. It may not be hooked up to anything. But it's staying nice and cool. Fan trowel would be nice. Just protection, a little extra pull in the summer to keep her even cooler. A couple little chips up here at top. See you're kind of puffing some smoke out there. It's been doing it the whole video. Coming down with the hood. It's locked. Turn signal's got some cracks in it. Little cracks all the way around that hood scoop there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. Detailed pictures are at maplemotors.com. Financing shipping is available, and I've got more videos to do, so stick around.